Let's start this one. Volume of an enclosed cylinder. Uh, cylindrical can is 500 cubic meters. Find the length of the radius needed to minimize the surface area of the can. We need two things. Volume of the cylinder is pi times radius squared times height. And the surface area is the area of the two circles, 2 pi r squared, plus the curved part of the cylinder, which is uh, the circumference times the height, 2 pi r times h. So what we're going to do here, I know the volume is 500. I'm going to give you a practice one after this. And what I'm going to do, since this is an optimization problem, is I'm going to uh, get h by itself. Remember, I want to minimize the surface area, so I'm not going to rearrange this formula here. I'm going to rearrange this one and substitute it in there. Um, so I'll say, okay, um, I'll get the height by itself. 500 divided by pi r squared. So I've rearranged this equation to get height by itself. Now that I've got height by itself, I'm going to plug that into here. And remember, I want the length of the radius, so I'm not going to rearrange this to get to the radius. And even if I did, uh, if I substituted it back in there, it would be complicated because I've got that squared there, and I've got it over here. So now, what I'm going to do is see what this expression looks like when I substitute 500 over pi r squared in for h. Um, it could get a little complicated, but it's not too bad. 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r times 500 over pi r squared. Now, I think I will simplify this bit. Uh, 2 pi r squared plus, uh, this, this really is like over 1, this 2 pi r. So on the top here, I get 1,000 pi r over pi r squared. And what happens is we get some cross-canceling going on. Well, the pi's cancel out, and one r is going to cancel out. So my expression, or my formula, ends up being surface area is going to be of my cylinder 2 pi r squared plus 1,000. Now, this is over r. This is, this is 1,000 over r which is the same as 1,000 r to the negative 1. Now, why I'm doing that, why I'm writing that r to the negative 1, because there's going to be some calculus going on. I have to do some calculus on it. And if I'm doing calculus on it, I want, I want exponents. If, I'm, if there's going to be differentiating, I want exponents, not over r. So, now that we've done all this algebra, now we do the calculus, the maximum or minimum, is going to be uh, when the gradient function, surface area, I'm just going to call it A prime now. Uh, I differentiate it. Don't forget pi is a constant, not a variable. So when I differentiate this, this turns to 4 pi r. And when I differentiate this, here's, here's the tricky one. Um, differentiate it. Bring the exponent, multiply it by 1,000. So negative 1 times 1,000 is negative 1,000. And I take 1 off of the exponent, making that negative 2. After I differentiate it, of course, I set it equal to 0, because at the minimum, the gradient is equal to 0. So I've got the gradient function. Set it equal to 0. And I'm going to solve for radius right now, as soon as I get more room. So I'm going to do this. Um, instead of negative 100, I'm going to add that to the other side, making it not 100, 1,000, positive 1,000. And I'm going to change that back to r squared instead of having a negative exponent. And I'll show you why. 
Because since I'm solving for r, if I just multiply this other side by r squared, I'll get rid of all negative exponents. I'll get rid of all negative exponents. And I'll get rid of any fractions as well. So 4 pi r times that r squared, which gives me uh, 4 pi r cubed. OK, well, this isn't too bad of a problem to solve now. Um, I'm going to, I can say, okay, I know I'm going to divide a thousand by four pi. So my last step here, I guess, I guess I could do it all in one step if I wanted to. The opposite of cubing something is going to be the cube root. It's going to be the cube root of something. So my radius will equal the cube root of a thousand over four pi. And I'm going to say, just be careful with calculator work right here, because when we do kind of stuff on the calculator, if we do not put that four pi in brackets, um, it's not going to divide it all in the denominator. So let's let's work that out and see what we get. I guess if, if I did clean this up inside the radical first, I'd get something like cube root of 79.577, something like that, which gives me about 4.30 centimeters. All right. So those, those are off the uh, optimization notes.